You know, there used to be a job for people that had extra body parts or special talents, and we called them sideshow freaks or circus acts. But today, they're referred to as modern marvels. Join us as we have a look at some body parts that most people don't have. Extra fingers and toes Polydactyle should not be confused with pterodactyle because they are two very different things. One is a prehistoric bird-like creature and the other might be an extra middle finger or, well, any finger or toe. But we imagine that a middle one might come in handy at times to really show our disgruntlement toward bad drivers or other things that anger us. What's really bizarre, though, is that it's not just humans that can suffer from having extra digits. Cats can do so as well, although they look a whole lot cuter with an extra little nub on their paw than humans do with an extra toe. Usually, it's made up of a small piece of soft tissue that can be removed, unless you like it, that is, and you may feel that it gives you some extra character. So by all means, keep it and enjoy not going on any second dates. Extra Teeth now, we're not really sure exactly what happened here, but it's obviously something weird. I don't even know where to start, but I guess the best place is that this disorder is called trypophobia. Alright, just kidding. That's the phobia where people have an intense irrational fear of irregular patterns or clusters of small holes or bumps. You may have heard of this phobia circulating around news outlets as the New American Horror Story advertisement has triggered a lot of cases of trypophobia in people. But could you actually imagine having 232 extra teeth? We don't even know what you would do with all of those teeth because you certainly can't use them to eat an extra helping of cherry pie. It's not like it's something useful, like an extra stomach or something. An Indian teenager, however, would be suffering from an unbearable pain and swelling when doctors would discover the root of the cause, 232 extra teeth that were growing inside of his mouth, and they all had to be removed. And it all makes for some pretty unnerving and terrifying imagery. Wisdom Teeth People like to claim that wisdom teeth are a must-have if you want to grow up with a normal human experience. Yeah, let's get knocked into an anesthetic coma and plead for milkshakes and mashed potatoes and lasagna for the next day, all while bloody gauzes fill our garbage bins. I hope I haven't given anyone PTSD from their wisdom teeth removal experience. However, scientists believe that you can thank your Neanderthal ancestors for this little gift because we used to need these extra set of teeth to consume food, but now they're just kind of in the way. However, there are some lucky few that don't have any wisdom teeth. But if you ask your grandparents, that just means they lack wisdom or some other form of common sense. Pre-auricular pit. There's nothing really life-altering about anyone who's born with these tiny, barely visible holes about their ears. In the UK, only 1% of people are born with this, and in the United States, it's even lower. For some reason, it's believed that it ranges between 4 and 10% for anyone in Africa or Asia. These small holes are actually malformed parts that didn't form correctly between the ear cartilage and the face. So, technically, it's a hereditary birth defect that was first discovered in 1864, but who are we to judge? Perhaps it's just an extra place to put an earring, if you're into that type of thing during your rebellious stage in life. An extra strand of DNA. After being taken home from the hospital, one little boy in question would be discovered to have an extra strand of DNA. His parents would take him to the hospital after he had stopped breathing and his lips turned blue. The young boy from England was then diagnosed at six weeks old with a rare abnormality. He was born blind and with severe disabilities, and that would force doctors to conduct multiple tests to find a solution. They then discovered that his seventh chromosome had an extra strand of material, which is the first time that it's ever been documented. In fact, it's so rare that it still doesn't have a name. Two Faces Now, I've heard of people being two-faced, but this is a little ridiculous. 
One adorable baby would be born in China with a strange abnormality that was almost unexplainable. It's always a sad tale when we hear about a baby that's been born with a facial deformity because it's not always correctable or even able to be removed surgically. The baby in question would be born with a transverse facial cleft, which means that the baby had a second face. And so, the child looks as if he has a mask on due to his massive cleft that extends all the way up to his ears. Something like this does come at a costly price to be treated and could end up even costing the family between $80,000 to $100,000. The story does come with a happy ending, however, as the family ended up raising enough money to treat the young boy's condition. Two Hearts this may sound like something out of a futuristic sci-fi novel, but as it turns out, one man had been living with two hearts his entire life and had absolutely no idea. The 71-year-old man had been going on about his business when he suddenly had what he believed to be a heart attack, although it actually turned out to be a dueling heart attack. Doctors had no idea what they were about to discover when they got him on the operating table. The patient would come in with signs of a heart attack, and upon further examination, it was discovered that this was no ordinary medical condition, since the man had two hearts. The second heart had arrived shortly after an earlier medical procedure to the original heart, which is called a heterotopic transplant. Two hearts means that there's more room to love, we suppose. Although it does also mean double the chance of a heart attack as well. An extra body. Conjoined twins have been something of a phenomenon for quite some time, although this is a very rare condition. The most famous pair of conjoined twins was Chang and Ang Bunker, who were born in Thailand and lived from 1811 to 1874. They would end up becoming part of P.T. Barnum's circus act for years and were fondly called the Siamese Twins. And if they had lived in today's modern era of medicine and science, they would have been able to be separated. There are many different cases of conjoined twins, and not all of them were able to be surgically removed from one another. At times, both twins do share vital organs and cannot be separated without causing harm to each other. An extra uterus Not only did one woman have an extra uterus, but she also ended up giving birth to triplets. Doctors believe that the chances of this happening are about 1 in 25 million but it somehow did happen, and the chances of a woman with two wombs, and also of having twins or two separate births, is estimated to be 5 million to 1. The condition is known to affect 1 in every 1,000 women living in the United Kingdom, and in the case of one particular 23-year-old woman, it was extremely rare, because all of the babies were conceived from two eggs one in each womb, and then fertilized at the same time, but by two different sperms, resulting in one set of twins and one single baby. The babies were all happy and healthy, but since their birth was so rare, they had to stay in the hospital to be monitored for up to nine weeks. A few extra limbs. One young Indian boy had a parasitic twin that never fully developed and was then attached to his chest. People would refer to the young boy as a god, and some also thought that he was a demon because of his deformity. His family wanted the young boy to have a chance at a normal life, so they searched high and low for a way to do so. The story did have a happy ending, as the impoverished family learned that a team of world-renowned surgeons had agreed to complete the surgery at absolutely no cost. The surgery would have normally cost the family $60,000. It took four hours and ended up being a complete success. This, of course, would leave the young boy ecstatic because he discovered that he could run faster and had a whole lot more energy. Oh, and he could also beat his brothers at a game of cricket now that he had a normal body. A third nipple. Now, there's actually more people that have a third nipple than you may know about. In fact, Mark Wahlberg might even be one of the most famous celebrities to admit that he has a third nipple. After the rumor would explode, he admitted that it was in fact true, but that it was the size of an infant's nipple because it had stopped growing. People also asked if he considered removing it, to which he just laughed and said that he embraces it. And he also believes it's one of his prized possessions. I suppose that when you have all the fame and money, a little bit of a weird deformity can actually keep you humble and down to earth. An extra left arm. 
We've seen almost everything in this video, but we haven't seen a boy who was born with two left arms. They both ended up looking extremely normal, including his right arm, but neither left arm was fully functional. The left arm that was closest to the boy's chest would be removed, since testing showed that the other one was more developed. As doctors began the removal of the extra arm, they would discover that the nerves and blood vessels that would be formed in a normal arm were also in the extra one. However, the surgery did end up going smoothly, even with the unexpected challenge. The young boy is going to have a lot of physical therapy in his future to get the left arm in working order, but he'll also have a relatively normal life because of an incredible surgery. An extra head. Now we've already discussed the amazing phenomenon of conjoined twins, but there's also another rare condition where a baby can be born with an extra head. One young girl was born in Egypt with a second head, but perhaps the most bizarre thing of all is that without the young girl, the other head couldn't survive. This head has no heart, no lungs, and no lower body. So without the help of the fully formed twin, it cannot be supported. It's one of the more rare births to date, since most babies born with an extra head don't have a fully formed brain and do not survive the birth at all. In most cases, both children will die during childbirth, but in this case, it was a rarity, as not just one survived, but both of them did. In fact, there's only been one recorded instance that the surgery of removing the head of a twin has resulted in the survival of the second child, because it's so rare. Stretching Skin stretching is a relatively common kind of modification to make, and while it can start off somewhat innocently with a stretched earlobe, some things can get pretty bizarre pretty quickly. Stretching has also been used in a variety of cultures, including Africa, Asia, and America. Even King Tut himself had stretched out earlobes. Moving down the face, we